Hello, hello. Most consistent Wild Rift, Wild Rift YouTuber is back, of course. Nah, guys, honestly, I'm just not really playing anymore. I just don't feel like it. I only played, like, this game. This listening gameplay is from the tournament that we got second place in. Unfortunately, spoilers. Maybe I'll upload some more games from it, but we'll see. I just thought it's more interesting than say, seeing the, the classic Timmy Stomper 1-2-3 in, uh, in ranked. In the GM Master, P Kilo, whatever. But yeah, playing as government, they got like third place in this tournament. And I was looking to invade level 1 here, the Kha'Zix. But I see he started Krugs. Like normally in tournaments, people don't really start uh, red buff. And the reason I have to leave here is because I see Rakan is mid already. My support, the Leona is playing uh, Baron lane, bot lane. Now, why Sappers play Baron lane in tournaments is a complete different story. I have to explain a lot and we don't have time. So we'll just roll with it. But yeah, this, this one will be a lot of information for you guys on how, how I approach the tournament games because I play a lot differently. And uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just talk about it. We'll just talk about it. No funny, no funny any joke in this one, unfortunately. Although they do have it. They do have any in their team, so who knows, guys? Who knows? Maybe it's gonna come. But yeah, we know where Kha'Zix started. We see Varus trading very aggressive, but my clear is a bit scuffed now because I have to start from blue side. I mean, it's not the worst because we'll path into... Our Leona Jax, because they the support the swap lanes. I mean the support is going top lane because okay, we have time to talk about it a little bit. The reason why the support is playing in Baron lane is because Ziggs versus Varus, they will never kill each other. They are just always farming, pushing waves. The main focus is always on the Baron lane nowadays because it's such an important lane. So we look to 2v2 that. But yeah, I took plan to check if Kazix is already on his blue, which he isn't. And our, our Baron lane is winning 2v2 because Rakan was forced to come to my invade. So they had a lot of time to 2v1 and stack waves. And because they stacked the wave, we can look for the dive. I will just secure the kill on the Rakan. Flashed for it. The Leona got executed, which is fine. Because the enemies didn't get anything out of it. And uh, the Jax revives too, so it's wonderful. It is great. It is very great. Camille lost so much gold by, by missing this wave since she died. And now, I want to contest this crab, I don't want to give it up on onto Kha'Zix, but the problem is, Rakan is coming first. Rakan might already be here, I don't know, I don't have vision, Camille is there as well. It is too greedy to go for this crab, I don't have flash either. There is literally no point to die for crabs, man. But unfortunately, my, my Jace is also very low HP. They can't invade me though, so it's fine. I'll just take reds. Take red and probably look to catch mid. My Lena is pinging the wave. I'm not sure if they're gonna crash it in time. I will just leave it to Jace. But she has a relic stack. So I guess she will just give it to me. She will just give me the money. She's freezing the wave. Very good. Of course guys. Of course. But yeah we see Kamel. Yet again. Very low HP. We can look for the dive. But the Kha'Zix is in the area as well. And the Rakan. So it's pretty difficult. Pretty difficult to force. Unless I get some very, very nice ultimate. Or some crazy outplay on her gonna be difficult i'm thinking maybe she'll go in the bush the Luna is charging her hex flash as well but she didn't recall in the bush we find also the kha'zix just randomly jumping on the jace he's forced to flash uh, the annie is here though and oh my god nice damage bro level 5 annie the rakan is looking to maybe turn on me i'm uh, like buffering my ultimate in case he would like jump on me this is very good into rakan you'll see later this game i mean i picked this in this game because it's good against kha'zix okay they're going very deep my teammates but i think they're fine I'll stay around, I'll cancel my recall in case something happens, but I think they're fine. But yeah, Kha'Zix very good against the enemy team because they have they have Kha'Zix, which this encounters. Because if you get on top of Kha'Zix, you can reveal him with your third ability, you just kill him easily. They also have Camille, who like wants to engage, go in, you can just kick her out of her ultimate and your team is free. They also have Rakan, who you can also cancel his engage very easily with your kick. But yeah, Kha'Zix at the second crab, I was too late. It's fine though, we don't really care about it. I have to be careful. I thought someone someone was mid lane, maybe Rakan, because who else could have taken that plant? Since Annie wasn't there, Kha'Zix, we just saw him in top river. So most likely the support is around mid lane. So yeah, we will look around here. Not much we can really do. I can try to force on Varus, but it's pretty hard. He's very, very far away. I'll just base. I'll just base. Kha'Zix could be behind him as well. No point to, to force there. I'm 100 gold off my Yomus though, so that's pretty bad. I think I shouldn't recall there. I think I should just go Wolves. Now I have to double recall, which made me waste some time. Not too ideal. But yeah, pretty slow early game. We don't really have like great gank setups. We just play around Jax. We got him very far ahead in this early game, 2-0. They got a lot of plates as well. And we will look to play. We want to play Herald preferably. Like, 
especially in competitive games, mid tower is very important, especially if you have like Ziggs Virus or something that wants to just sit mid and clear waves. If they don't have the tier 1 tower, they can very easily get punished and die. So, of course, we're gonna look to play hard. Also, we're very strong on our Baron side because our Jax is just so far ahead, right? So, we, we can easily play around it. We can very easily play around it. We see Kha'Zix is doing Dragon. We have all the information. We have good vision this game. His blue buff is coming up. We can look to invade it after. The Ziggs tried to steal the, the Drake with the ultimate we saw in, on the minimap, but it's fine. It is fine. Hopefully the Jays... Okay, the Jays got out as well. They can't dive him. The, my, my team kills the Kamel. Wonderful. I'll just Herald mid right now. I look for the virus here. I was looking for the for the kick, but I got rooted and I don't want to chase this. I should instantly insect him here. I should just flash kick him like the moment I hit first ability. Now I'll just try to zone him off mid lane because I know he's going to try to go for the tower. I kick the Rakan away, but he's still going for the flash engage on me. I have to flash out myself, but the Kha'Zix gets me in time, but they will die for this. It's two for one. They pressed two, a double flash. They pressed double ult just to kill me. It's worth it. My team can get mid tower here, hopefully. Actually, don't. They can't. No, they can't, but it's very low. Like, the Ziggs can get it with his second ability once he's back. So, it's all good. Now, this game, I was thinking about boots. Normally, in ranked, you know, we go lethality boots, whatever, armor pen, just one-tap them. But here, against, like, Annie and stuff, I really don't want to get one-shot by her because I'm going to go 3 dt force. I'm going to go 3 dt force, and yeah, you guys saw at Herald, like, how much uh, damage Annie did. Not Herald, but level 5. The champ is pretty cracked. The champ is pretty broken, not going to lie. It's, like, such low skill. My, yeah, my N is just too broken. The Jace dies to it. He's a victim. He's a victim. Donnie seems to, to be liking Annie a lot recently. Not gonna lie, but it's fine. I'm just gonna stick up in here in this lane. We see Rakan is top. Kha'Zix should be one of his red because it's respawning and we just saw him as well. So it's confirmed. So I can look to kill the Kamel in case she will push too far, which she does. Slower, kick her into the tower. Block her third ability as well. Waiting a bit for a cooldown, stashing back in. I know she has ultimate and we just secure it wonderful well played this camel game is over it is over she was greedy to get some plates here i'm pretty sure because she's so far behind but i just deny it man i just denied camille 03 3800 gold jax is like 7k <laughs> good luck have fun and jax counters camille so you know it's gonna be very very cool for him to play but yeah I'm gonna go back to our to our camps in competitive, I mean, we can we could play more aggressive, but I know this game like we will scale so well. We play double poke with J with uh, Jace Ziggs, so we don't actually have to do anything too crazy. We can just scale up. We also have Jax on the side who's already this strong. We just have Leona always play around him, and we're good. We really have to open mid tower though, so that's that's one thing we we are gonna gonna rotate for now. We have Jace here, we have Ziggs here. They can poke. Ziggs just has to do one second skill. That's why I'm not even gonna stay because I know they will take it. The Kha'Zix is not a threat, he's on top side. So it's all good, his blue is down. I'm just gonna rotate to join my team. Gonna rotate to join my team on the top side of the map because they are fighting. The Kha'Zix just exploded, man. I saw Ziggs ult coming on the minimap, I know he's gone. I'm gonna look for the flank here, no words, they don't see me. But I'm not patient enough. I'm not too patient enough, I mean I will, I will try to wait but I hit the Rakan. I could have went for the Varus if I knew he's gonna try to go there. But it is what it is. It is what it is, but Annie shows up here and Lee Sin going for the crazy, <laughs> crazy Turkish Lee Sin combo. Okay, man, I swear, guys, I swear, it's not even me. It's not even me. It's not like I'm bad. I can't insect. Like, if you look at the replay, because I watched it as well, I, I pressed ult, but it didn't go off. So I flashed and then it didn't work and I like walked backwards and I, <laughs> whatever, man, whatever. I don't have no Nova long skin on me, you know, that's why. That's why I don't have I don't have the mechanics. I chose the wrong skin for this game, huh? Unlucky, man. <laughs> Unlucky. No one saw that. Oh, you know what's funny? I, I also watched, like, because they streamed th those games. They were streamed. And I watched the stream to see if they saw what I did or not. They didn't see it, man. They didn't see the Turkish listen, and it's fine. It's fine. My reputation, my reputation got salvaged. I mean, not anymore because I'm posting it on YouTube, but, you know. I know Kha'Zix is on Wolves because he was on blue. I didn't hit first ability though. If I hit it, he's like kind of dead. I have a lot of damage. That's why Lee Sin is pretty good into Kha'Zix. Also, you can like pressure him early game, etc. There's a lot of reasons. But yeah, we're just trapping in their jungle. We are so far ahead. Drake in 10. I'm just gonna, gonna wait for that. I'm just gonna wait for that. But they are trapping pretty far though as two people. They have big damage though with the Ziggs. 
I'm gonna try to join, but this is very, very deep, guys. This is very deep. Very deep inside of Annie's face. I mean, inside of any whatever. They are just tower diving into tier 3 almost. So yeah, the Kha'Zix also lived. My ultimate, he sidestepped it. Was well played by him. So, we kind of have to give up this dragon, I think. I mean, it's only ocean. We don't really give a, f give a, a shit about it, you know. But look at this virus, man. Essence River virus poke damage is crazy. Chinese technology. But yeah, me and Zig still alive. Maybe we can try to play this, but it's very hard. I don't have ult, so if Rakan touches me, I'm dead. Same for Annie. I'm trying to look for it, but Rakan blocks me and no way. It's not worth dying for it because it's only ocean. So we're fine. We're fine. We can give it to them. It doesn't really change a whole lot. They do have two dragons now with the mountain, but it's really not that big of a deal, man. We scale so well. As long as we deny third dragon, we're fine. And I'm pretty sure we can deny it because we're so far ahead, you know. We just open up the map. The map even more yeah i'm not doing a whole lot honestly you can play more aggressive on Lee Sin, but as i said enemy team comp pretty hard to go into and i don't have to go into them that's the thing because this game my my job is not to, like go for a crazy insect or engage on someone okay i find the virus here but he flash he flashed into the leona though so he's probably dead instantly so that's why we get the kill but yeah my job this game is not really to engage unless i have like a very good angle for a kick or something i just have to sit back and kick camille or uh, or Rakan, who will try to, to go in on us, because the Ziggs, the Ziggs and Jace can just poke. You see Rakan coming in, instant kick, back into the Kha'Zix. And we just get out, man. We just get out. We can't really... I mean, we wanted their red, but we will only treat people, so... We just have to play it safe and drop it. We take his other camps instead. It is fine. When you're this far ahead, you just want to take everything from him on cooldown. Like, we see blue buff is spawning, we're gonna go blue next. Take his old blue side. The Kha'Zix has no gold. They have no farm. We are just getting further and further ahead. The Kha'Zix is here though. I had to jump away instantly because if Rakan is behind him, I'm dead. No ultimate on me. So this is what it is. I'm gonna pull out the blue. We can't really greet for this. Like they have a lot of a lot of uh, synergy. They have a really good uh, engage combo. Like if they go in on us, I, if I don't have kick or something, we are instantly dead. So I have to respect them a little bit. We have to respect them even if we're so far ahead. But yeah, pretty slow game. Pretty slow game. I mean, we're just like slowly, slowly choking them because we are outscaling, as I said. Our teammates up in mid lane. I'm going to go for an early Zonia. It's very good against uh, Camille, etc. If I don't have my, my kick to disengage. And Zonia is just broken in competitive. Zonia is just broken in tournaments because you buy so much time with it. You can easily like bait enemies to engage on you or focus you and you just Zonia and your team just collapses or you buy... You can do a lot of things with it. We see Annie's here. She was trying to get vision on Baron and I just instantly go on her. My kick didn't go off in time, but we do get we do get her, the kill on her. Unfortunately, I can't flash in time. I was spamming flash, but Varus had the, the good timing on his on his first ability and killed me. The Rakan going in. Yeah, not much is gonna happen here. Not much is gonna happen. It's just a one for one. We did get any flash though, so that's that's something decent. It is something decent. But man, they, they do so much damage. They do so much damage. That's why I'm just gonna go Destin's third. Normally, you know, if you're playing like ranked, you can go whatever mortal reminder or more damage on Lee Sin, but I think against them, against them, Destin's not too bad. He counters Kha'Zix pretty hard, so it should be Gucci. Should be Gucci, but yeah, we're very hard, very far ahead. Jungle is even, mid is like 1k, top is like 2k. Ziggs is also, actually Ziggs is not that far ahead. The virus is very fed. The, vir the virus has a lot of farm, so we have to be careful with that, but it's fine, man, it's fine. We can't force Baron against them, though. That's a problem. Like, if we start Baron, they just come in with, like, Rakan and Annie, and we get... We get Giga... 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 Giga fuck time. And there's no other word. There's no other word. Fighting in the pits against them. Not a good idea. To say the least. But, yeah. His red is coming up. We are trying to group up. We need to get mid-priority first. We don't really have vision. We have to be very careful of traps, because Rakan... If it's, I mean, if they are good Rakans, they just flash outside of vision on you and you can't do shit. It is what it is. But yeah, we can't really stop Baron, as I said. We'll just wait for third Drake and uh, force the player around that. We can look to catch someone, but the, we have no vision, as I said, so it's hard to walk in. There is Crab on the Baron, so we will probably just look to play that instead until Drake is up. So yeah, just have to be careful with the vision. Just have to be careful with the vision. They're already on this crap though. I tried to go in and get the smite, but unfortunately I couldn't. We're gonna look for the engage here. Leona going for a big one. A big engage on the Rakan, but I get Varus ulted. And I really don't want to flash into them, as I said. If I flash in for a kick, I'm 100% dead right after. 
The Kha'Zix is behind me though, and he has Edge of Night so I can't kick him. I'm instantly flashing away from the Rakan, just playing it a bit slow. Rakan 1 HP, I'm trying to finish him off. I don't want to use my second ability just yet, in case I need to escape. Camille flashing away, they're all very low. But our team is also a bit too deep, we'll just try to get out of here. We'll just try to get out of here. I hit the first ability on the Camel, but guys, it's not ranked. I'm not taking it. In ranked, I will die for that Camel. I don't give a fuck. They can burn right after, man. I am killing this guy. But yeah, in, in competitive, not. They are going for the burn attempt, though. I mean, they do have Kha'Zix, and they can do it very fast. But my team is going to buy time. I'll just secure the Dragon, because we really need a third one. We really need to deny the third one. And that since they went for the burn attempt, they won't have time to, to come here in time. So, it is, it is safe, nice smite. <laughs> nice smite, thankfully no one was there. Oh my god, I don't know, I moshed, well, I moshed up guys, I don't know, honestly. But it's fine. Just gonna fire my death stance. I think there is nothing else we can really do. There's big bot on, big wave on bot lane as well. That Jace needs to catch. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just being chilling farming, man. I'm just being chilling farming. The Ziggs though, getting caught in the mid lane by the Kha'Zix, that is not good. That is not good. I think I I told him he's on the left side, but I guess he didn't expect it. Kha'Zix probably just ulted and ran him down. Jax got caught as well though. That is a big problem, man. We are getting caught left and right. Not good. I don't think they can burn though. They are very far far away from it. But it is 30 seconds dead timers. I'll just reset for distance. If they burn, the Jace and Leona can poke a lot. Actually, the Jace is getting caught here. I'm trying to play it a bit slow. Dodging the Rakan stuff, going for the ultimate, killing the Kha'Zix. I don't have energy though. Trying to run down the Rakan. He flashed away, 1 HP. It is fine though. It is fine. Kha'Zix is dead. They can't Baron. I can finally reset. And the game is kinda, kinda, kinda tight, you know, kinda tight, close game. I mean, they are putting up a fight. They are getting picks on us. So it's not quite the stomp just yet. Camille got here to top. I'm not gonna fix the wave. I'm gonna leave it to Jax. He needs, he needs to get further ahead so he can't like die on side lane what he do like he did earlier. Late game he's just gonna stomp them. So yeah, just gonna grab the crab. Elder is coming soon as well. Gonna set up vision around the Baron. And just look to, to bait someone. I mean Kha'Zix is still dead. Kha'Zix is still dead so we can actually try to look for it just to bait some people. Like we see Annie's half HP on the minimap. But Rakan gets vision, we'll just try to turn this. We'll just try to turn this. The TP is coming out as well. Kha'Zix teleporting. I see Virus miss the ultimate. I just instantly go on him with a flash, punish him. I have Zonia in case someone goes on me. Hit first ability on Kamel as well. Follow her over the wall. Cancel a third ability. Oh my god, the listen is popping off. Getting knocked up by Tibbers, but uh, I'm fine. I am fine. I know Kha'Zix is still around here. I saw Jace didn't fight him in that bush, which means he's in this one. Because he didn't show on the wave either on bot lane. And we just killed Kha'Zix as well. Just completely outplaying them in this fight. And we're just gonna gonna grab Baron. We're gonna grab Baron. We were thinking of going mid or bot lane to end, but it's 20 seconds the timers. I think it's not enough. It might be very close. I mean, N is also up. She can just sacrifice herself for the wave. So we'll just let J uh, Jax do the do the thing. <laughs> we'll just we'll just leave Jax and Annie alone. You know, give them some some privacy, some private space for their for their activity. You guys know which activity I'm talking about, but yeah. Gonna reset here, we have the Baron. Just gonna work on the GA, I'm not gonna have it in time anyway, but at least I get Longsword and Chain Vest, so it's not too bad. And we're just gonna rush the Elder, get position. Kha'Zix is dead, he has no Teleport, but I don't have Smite, so starting it is not really that ideal. We see someone warded behind, it's Rakan, I find him. Get some poke down, take the plant back over. And gonna, gonna start the Elder, we have to do it very slow though, because I don't have Smite, my teammates know that. Jax did the anything, he he impregnated her, we see Kha'Zix is here, he's warding the, the dragon. And now because we took the ward, I said stop damage, because Kha'Zix will think we're still doing it, so someone will have to come check, which Rakan does. He just jumps in to check to check if we are still on it, if the elder is low. So Kha'Zix has vision to jump in. But yeah, I'm just not hitting man, I'm just waiting, the Rakan trying to solo kill me, he's just pressing all kills on me, all, all buttons on me, but he can't. He just can't do it and we just clean ace them, get the Elder as well and the Jax ending the game with his Baron and Hullbreaker. So yeah, we played it very clean. We played it very clean. Like in, in, in ranked games, you will never see this happening. Like your team is doing Elder, the enemy jungler is coming, they'll just keep like keep putting damage on it like crazy man. And then you lose the smite because you don't know how much damage it's gonna take.
but yeah, in competitive, you can just wait it out. And that's gonna be it. Uh, thanks for watching. Pretty quick, pretty quick comp game.